and it reflects my father's sort of like development about uh, his own aging. Because my father always thought of himself as like a young person, even when he was in his 60s or let's say, and at age 70, he was forced to retire his professorship from university, which that doesn't exist anymore. Professors are not forced to retire, but he was. And then all of a sudden it hit him that society looked at him as an elderly person. He didn't look at himself as an elderly person, but society looked at him as an elderly person. And he had to examine and think about what that meant. And he was sort of aghast to find, and it's in the book there, you can, you can read it, that not only did society have all these ageist ideas about what aging people could and couldn't do, he himself had internalized all of these ideas, which he then came to realize were so wrong about what, what it means to be elderly or what you're able to do or what you're not able to do. So part of the book is about saying, like, you've got to get rid of these ideas that, you know, seniors can't do this or can't do that or don't have this available to him. And that's where he talks about ageism and, as I mentioned earlier, age casting. And that, after that, he goes on to give people direct advice, which some of which I mentioned, to try and make their life more vibrant and more creative, which certainly he was employing in his own life.